Hey, what's up guys, it's Gumpfeef here, and welcome to this Team of the Week 23. This is actually the official Team of the Week, tweeted out by you, so uh, as you guys know the drill by now, make sure your vote on the straw part is in the top of the description on which player you want me to review first, and also leave a comment of what other players you want me to review as well. Anyway, we're just going to get straight into it, and uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty OP Team of the Week. Obviously, we have someone completely taking away the spotlight from everyone else, but uh, hey-ho, there are some other awesome players in this Team of the Week, as well, so let's have a quick rundown of it. In goal, we've got Kevin Trapp, who looks pretty solid to me. He's got some insane stats on his card, also a decent height as well, and um, he actually looks pretty solid. So I may have to try that guy out and uh, give him a go, because as I say, some decent attributes on his card. Moving on, Chris Smalling, nearly 80 pace, 84 defending, 80 physical. Looks freaking OP, really good height as well. So um, you know what? I might have to pick this guy up and give him a go, because he looks very, very solid for a low-rated centre back as well. So. Looks like a pretty OP card to me. And then we've got this guy, Doug Lau, who once again, 80 defending, 80 physical on a silver. Looks pretty crazy to me. And uh, I, I probably will end up trying this guy out because I don't really play with too many silver defenders, apart from Okora. But uh, still, looks like a pretty solid centre-back. We've got Alvaro up next as well. Another fast centre-back this week. God, he had loved the pace on the centre-backs, don't he? And then we've got Freddy Guarin, who looks absolutely awesome. He's deserved an inform for a while. And um, look at them 82s all down the side. But uh, generally a very well-rounded card. And um, yeah, I'm sure he'll be a popular one this week. Going to have to pick him up at some point. Before moving on to 87 rated inform Mario Goetze. Looks really, really nice. Really nice inform. Good pace, good shooting, good passing, good dribbling. Pretty much everything you want in an attacking player. Some decent physical attributes as well. So uh, he could be pretty damn good. And then we've got this guy, Fernando Gago. Don't know too much about this card. We've got 80 passing on it, so that's not too bad for a low rated gold in form. I know we've got this guy, Wabi Kazari, um, my best attempt, <laughs> but uh, 80 dribble one on him being the standout stat, but he doesn't look too bad, fairly well rounded on him as well. And then we've got this guy, Lionel Messi, another in form for this guy, being over this in form, let's be honest, has been a bit overdue, and um, it looks freaking awesome, but um, his team is, he has got a team of the year card, so that is something to bear in mind, but if you guys want me to review this card, I will do, so make sure you put your comments below, and make sure you go vote on that straw poll. And then we've got this guy, striker Thomas Muller, looking pretty damn awesome. George for that 91 shooting, 89 passing. He could make an awesome cam, to be honest. But um, yeah, definitely going to use him at striking because he looks pretty damn awesome with that 91 shooting. Let's move on to Bastos, who I believe was it scored four goals this week. He's been, he's another one that's been very much overdue and in form, very well deserved, and yeah, he's having a good season for Wolfsburg as is most of their players. To be honest, they're on absolute fire right now. Let's move on to the bench. We've got Benjamin Leroy. Um, I don't really try out too many silver goalkeepers. I, I just don't like goalkeepers at all this year, to be honest. But uh, it doesn't look too bad. We've got this guy, Jan Lejax, who I, I can't remember if it's the guy who got like, multiple assists on the goal uh, for his team. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Some insane passing attribute for uh, a bronze. And then you look at this guy. Yes, he's a bronze striker. He's got 74 shooting. That's better than some gold players. That is pretty damn insane for a bronze. Uh, for you bronze fans out there. 74 shooting, that is pretty damn impressive. You might like that guy. We've got Franco Vasquez, who, um, apart from the pace, is extremely looking OP. Look at that physical attitude, shooting, passing, and 81 dribbling. Better than most gold. He looks pretty awesome, to be honest. Sebastian Haller is up next. I believe he's a transferred card. That's pretty awesome. He did get, I think it was a hatch. No, what did he score four times? It was, it was three goals or, or four for the, this guy on the weekend, so that's pretty good. We've got Babacar as well, who looks like a very nice silver in form. Well, he's in form. I think he got an in form last year. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty damn nice. And then finishing off the team, we've got Luke de Jong with 86 shooting, which looks pretty damn crazy for a low rated in form. Going to have to try that guy out at some point. Anyway, guys, in the comments below, let me know which players you'd like to review and also make sure you go vote on that straw poll of which play you'd like to review first. Apart from that, have a very good day, and I will see you later tonight for the Team of the Week reviews. Have a good day, guys. Adios.